to the 2000 here, but yeah, normal rank three, or player, bomb, all the standard stuff. So we have Reimu and we have Marissa as a playable character who I'll actually show off here. Um, Evolution Laser and Rapid Shot, which I'll use the laser here. So, it's interesting because uh, both Reimu and um, both Reimu and Marissa have different stage ones in terms of like their music and their backgrounds and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Lives are also gained via score based here. I think it's still the big, it's the second one, two, four this time. But yeah, there's the bomb. And if I hold down this button, I can uh, slow down a bit. Uh, we have a graze mechanic, which as bullets get close to our hitbox, we'll have that graze number go up, mainly just for scoring and stuff like that. Uh, we have dream points, which is those blue, big blue things that we get. And then there's point items. We also have an enemy health bar this time around, which is really helpful. But this game is probably the most kind game out of the five. Well, I think that lines up a little bit more in personal opinion on whether you find this game or the next game to be easier. Where's the bullets? They're all white dots. You're just the first stage, boss. Marissa, please, don't be meta. Where do they be? Audio is still good, by the way. I gotta head out. Ah, oh, catch you later, Erica. Thank you for stopping by. You got this. Enjoy your family shindig. Feels great, heck yeah.
So my story with this game is that I originally played it and I beat it. And I was like super excited. I was like telling everybody like, oh my God, I, you know, I beat the game, woo. And someone was like, did you record it? I was like, no, I didn't. Re I did not record it. Why? And he was like, well, old Toa games don't have a replay system. And I'm like, oh. So I didn't even have a screenshot to prove that I did it. So I had to redo that clear again while recording it live because there's no replay system. Toa 6 onwards has a replay system, so you can actually go in and watch your replays uh, and then record them afterwards, which is really nice. Kurumi! Yeah, the big three was the extent, huh? Interesting. Nice soon. Hey, you know that meme song, Bad Apple, that you see everywhere that, like, you know, people put on, like, pregnancy tests and, like, you know, refrigerators and stuff like that? You want to know where that song came from? Here. A lot of people know this song, and this is where it comes from. Yeah, not as many bullets this time around compared to the previous game. But... They'll be there as we get to stages 4 or 5. First bullet hell game... It was either R-Type or Raiden way back then. Then I got into Toa around 2015 when I started playing the game, but I was into Toa around 2014 when I found the music on YouTube. And that's when I really got involved into the genre. But I remember I had one of the R-Types on my PlayStation 2. And I remember at arcades at least I would play like Raiden and stuff like that. Gradius was in there too at some point. 
So I, like, knew of the genre, but it wasn't, like, a genre that I played and stuff like that. Then I got into Toe, and then I actually started playing more of the games and stuff like that. So Ellie's cool because she'll always have a scythe thrown at, being thrown at you, so you can't stay still all the time. So just kind of keep that in the back of your pocket. Like, there it goes. There's that scythe. Oh, definitely like the melodies and stuff like that. It's something I really had not heard too much before, given a lot of my exposure to music was Nintendo platformers and Square Enix RPGs and stuff like that. So when I started hearing some of the melodies from like Toe 8, like Toe 10 and whatnot, um, I was hooked. I was like, yo, what? Like, what is this? And stuff like that. And so I remember I saw videos of Toe 11's final boss being played. I was like, what the heck? This is like the coolest thing in the world. I want to try it. Knowing full well that I couldn't, but I still wanted to try it. And then as I heard more of the music, it, it, it's really the music that kept me in first. And then I got into the gameplay and I was like, oh, this is really fun. Like. I really enjoyed that, like, I could play something and, like, I had to train to actually do well in it. Um, and the satisfaction you get when you clear a game for the first time is, like, it's unbelievable. It's hard to define, really, too. But, like, when you get that 1cc and your heart's pumping and your hands are sweaty and stuff like that, it's like, oh, yes, this is great. Naturally, if you were on a harder difficulty, these green guys would be spitting bullets out at you. So just kind of keep that in mind. Ah, yeah. Did not move fast enough for that. That was a waste of, like, four bombs. Thank you for giving me one, but... Nice try. Not this time. Alright, six lives going into... Reimu here. Interesting. Hey look, it's Reimu. Yeah, so this game, if you play as Reimu, you're fighting Marissa as your stage 4 boss, 
You're playing as Marissa. You're fighting Rainbow as your stage four boss. Also, I know a lot of the letters that have that like weird carrot there instead of like the W. It's just because of the English and the way those patched in and stuff like that. Could fix it if I wanted to, but it's just a letter. Ted. Nice bait. All those precious lives gone. I gotta bomb spam a little bit here if I want to have any chance of making it to stage six. great. Not great. We have two more. This one at least has six stages, so from here on out, we're in six stage mode, so it's going to be a bit tricky with three lives, but we'll see what we can do. just like the way Tell plays, honestly, compared to a lot of other bullet hells. It just feels right to me. I would say. Have easily made that gap. Still not looking that grid, but you know what? Yuka Kazami! A fan favorite character, actually. In the uh, fandom. Oh, the fandom makes her very sadistic. Very sadistic. Oops, wrong button.
Hey yo, thank you for the raid. Random rings. Welcome, welcome. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot about the laser. Everyone forgets about the laser. I forget about the laser all the time. Thank you for the follow, Ducky. There's some old ass Oh, yeah. Welcome to Retro Week here at Cerulean Skies, where the entire week we're we're going to be uh, playing a bunch of retro games. And so my session here is to play some old Toho, but we've had a lot of different things. And a lot more things to come across the week as well, so... I'll talk more about that in a little bit here. But yes, thank you again for the raid, thank you again for the follow, and welcome. So, two lives, uh, two bombs going into this, I mean, it's doable. I won't say it's gonna be great. But I think I have one more life I can get, if I recall. If not, then, uh, you know what? <laughs> I did my best. Three and three. Hey, it's Yuka again. Uh, I mean, it's, it's doable. Three and three. I would feel more confident if I had another life, but hey, you know. <laughs> That's okay. Yuka as a boss like slightly terrifies me because I never know when she's gonna go into laser or like her twin mode. Oh crap! No! That's the good one. I panicked. Oh, there it goes with two bombs.
Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. That is wonderful. Welcome back, Kiko. Yeah, we did it! 1cc! 